Welcome to module 5, lesson 18. Add and subtract more than two fractions. So we've been working on adding and subtracting fractions. A lot of problems like this. Uh, a number of sevenths plus another number of sevenths. So four sevenths and one sevenths make a total of five sevenths. Now sometimes the problems are more difficult and we have to decompose and simplify and work on all kinds of other processes. But this is the gist of what we've been doing, putting fractions together. Now the lesson's going to into adding more than two fractions together, or subtracting more than two. So the pieces uh, just increase that we're messing around with. Now, what this allows for is more options. So in fact, my students, I noticed, found that this was kind of easier to do than what we've been doing. See, you could add four sevenths one-seventh and three-sevenths to make a total of how many? What's four plus one plus three? That would be eight, right? That would be eight-sevenths, which then could be decomposed. Eight-sevenths is made up of, remember our number bonds, it's made up of seven-sevenths to make the whole, because this, this is definitely larger than a whole, right? Because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And it's also made up of an extra one-seventh for a total of eight-sevenths. And then we go ahead and say that this is made up of a whole and a seventh left over. Remember, we got the whole because seven-sevenths is one whole. And then that one-seventh left over gets brought over here. And we have a total of one and one-sevenths. But what a lot of my students recognized is that instead of adding all the numerators, which, by the way, is okay, that if you can go ahead and do a number bond between certain ones, so for example, four and three, four sevenths and three sevenths make a total of seven sevenths, or, sorry, what am I writing here? Or a whole, that all you have is this one seventh left over, so your answer is one and one seventh. See, with more fractions to mess around with, it might be easier for you to pull that one hole out when you're adding. Now when you're subtracting, it doesn't work exactly the same way. So let's take a look at some examples and we'll see if that... On your homework, um, in, my, in my class for this year, I've only assigned the first page. Now they offer these two different options. They say, um, choose one way to solve each problem. Okay, and on the back it asks you for multiple ways. In my class, you are not doing the multiple ways and you're not even doing the, the back side. I want you to practice this the one way you like to solve each problem. So the first one's been partially done for you. So recognize, they had this problem, all three of these. There's a third, there's two thirds, there's one third, and they already mixed up the first two. One third and two thirds makes three thirds. And then the other one third came down and this person changed this one three-thirds to a whole, and the one-third left as one-third. So in the end, all you have to do is write your answer. You have a whole and a third. Now, I like this method. I like finding that there's a whole in some of these, if you find the right combination. So like this one, five-eighths and three-eighths make eight-eighths. But then don't forget there's that extra five-eighths, so this is a total of a whole and five eighths. That is all I am requiring of my students. Okay, you didn't need to write that it equals a whole and one eighth and then write equals five, one and five eighths. Just put the answer down. Okay, see what I mean by it's faster if you could find those combinations. Now if you look at the next one, uh, four plus six, six would be 10, six. Six, six plus one, six, wait a minute. Don't you notice this 6-6, six, six, isn't that a hole already? They've already found one for us. They've already put a hole in there. So let's go ahead and say that these two make 5-6. And I also have the 6-6. Six, six. So that would be one hole and 5-6. Okay. How about, uh, let me do another addition one here. Let's try to do this one. So I have five sevenths and one seventh. That could make six sevenths. 
I have four sevenths and one seventh. That can make five sevenths. I have four sevenths and five sevenths. That can make nine sevenths. Unfortunately, in this one, I don't get any seven sevenths. There's not really a, a very easy shortcut to make, like a hole to make. You know what? So I'm just going to add them all together. I'm going to say there's probably five sevenths and another sevenths. That's six sevenths. And another four sevenths. That's ten sevenths. So I'm going to say that this is ten sevenths which it is improper, and I would like you to express the expressions right here as mixed numbers when possible. And this one is possible because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So let's go ahead and say that this is made up of 7 sevenths and 3 more to make 10, which is a whole and 3 sevenths. Okay? Now let me do one more problem. I'm going to work on this subtraction one here. Now, this one, oh, sorry, a whole and two, seven, two twelfths is losing one twelfth, two twelfths here. They're taking it away. So this left number, when you subtract, it's always where you start. So I'm starting here, and then I'm losing two twelfths. I'm going to stop right there and make a number bond right away of these two to say that that leaves me with a whole. I had one and two twelfths. I lost two twelfths. Now I only have one. And I have to take away a twelfth. Now we've practiced this, but you can't take away a piece out of a whole unless you decompose it. So I'm going to change this one whole to twelve twelfths. So now I could do subtracting with like denominators. So see how I turn that one into twelve twelfths? We're dealing in twelfths. Twelfths, twelfths, twelfths. You want to keep the denominators the same. And I just needed something to represent 1. So if I'm talking about twelfths, I would have to have 12 twelfths to make 1. And now 12 twelfths minus 1 twelfth would equal 11 twelfths in the end. Just lost one little twelfth out of that hole. All right? If you have any more questions about adding or subtracting more than one fraction, see me, and I'll be glad to help. Thanks.